What's going on guys? I'm Mark Linsang from Techno Buffalo and it's finally December, which means the year is about to end. A new year's right around the corner. And so with that being said, today I'll be showing you guys what's on my Android for December 2014. This will be the last one for quite a while. I did a similar video not too long ago with my OnePlus One, but today I have the Note 4. I've been using this phone for about a couple of weeks now and changed up a few things on here to make my Note 4 look somewhat like Android Lollipop. So let's not waste any more of your time and jump into the video. For my lock screen, I'm still using AC display. This is my go-to lock screen alternative for non-Motorola devices. It's very similar to Motorola's Moto display, but a more beefed up version. It'll display majority of your recent notifications in a row, and you'll be able to interact with your notifications by holding and swiping up or swiping down. It's an awesome lock screen alternative, and if you're looking for something different and customizable, AC display is the way to go. For my home screen, I'm using Nova Launcher Prime, and it's probably one of the best launchers that's available for Android. There are other alternatives in a Google Play Store, which we made a video about not too long ago, and if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure to check out the links down below. Now, quite recently, actually, Nova Launcher just got updated to support a few more Android Lollipop animations, which look absolutely beautiful. The app animations, the drawer animations, it almost looks like Android Lollipop. Now, the first screen essentially shows all of the apps I use on a daily basis. I have my Contacts app, the updated Google Calendar with Material Design, which, by the way, looks gorgeous. And right next to that are the Stock Gallery app and the Camera. Up next is Player FM, which is my go-to podcast app. I listen to a few podcasts when I'm driving or when I'm going to sleep, and the app is perfect. It features a very flat material design look, and it has the majority of the podcasts I listen to. Now, moving right along, we have the Netflix app, and below that, I have Spotify, which I also use on a daily basis. Right next to that, I have Afterlight and ViscoCam to edit all of my photos, and we also have the Google Music app, which I use every now and then if Spotify doesn't have what I'm looking for. Now just right below that are my social media apps like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you guys have any alternative Twitter apps that you use, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I'm curious on what you guys are using. Moving forward, we have the phone app, Hangouts, my app drawer, which sports Android Lollipop's animations, and we have the Gmail app and Google Chrome. Swiping to the right, we have my Google Now widget, which shows me all of my important sports scores, weather, and other miscellaneous information. And on the third page is where I have my games and other miscellaneous apps. For my games, I don't have much. I have Retry, Stick Hero, Traffic Racer, which is pretty addicting, and Clash of Clans. Below those apps, we have Google Maps, the Google Play Store, the Settings app, the AC Display app, where you can customize the lock screen. And right next to that is this new app I actually just downloaded yesterday called Heads Up Notifications, which essentially replicates Android Lollipop's notification alerts. It's a pretty nifty app, and pair that with the latest Nova Launcher build, you can achieve a somewhat Android Lollipop home screen. The last page of my home screen is just my Google Calendar widget. It shows me what I have going on for today and for the next couple of days, and if I click an event, it takes takes me straight to the app, which is pretty straightforward. As for the icon pack, I'm sure you guys are curious. I'm using Moonshine. It started off as a very flat, colorful icon pack that's somewhat inspired by leaks and rumors of Android Lollipop before it was officially released. There are over 600 icons included, and you can even request more icons if some of your icons aren't supported. Moonshine works for what I'm going for, which if you couldn't already tell, I'm going for the Android Lollipop material design look. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Of course, everything I talked about in this video will be in the description down below. And if you guys have any questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave your comments down below or tweet me. And as always, I'm Mark Linsanger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys would like to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And we'd like to play video games every now and then in this office. So make sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash techno buffalo. And we hope to see you guys there.